Welcome back. Today we got another review for you. This one's sponsored by Saxo Grammaticus, my band. Check it out if you like really weird metal shit. And today we are reviewing this little guy, the Orange Micro Terror. Pretty cool. They say micro right on the front. It is micro. My hands are not particularly large. It is very, very small. Fits quite literally on the palm of your hand. Does not weigh anything. Very lightweight. It's a 20 watt tube head. You can actually see the little tube in there. Maybe. <laughs> not super clear. But 20 watt tube head there. And we actually have the matching orange cab to go with it. Not a whole lot to say about the cab, it's just a cab. Uh, but this is the Micro Terror. Don't believe they're super expensive by any means. Uh, it also came with a little carrying case, which is kind of cool, though it is infinitely portable to begin with. I'm not 100% sure you really need a carrying case kind of thing. But anyways, let's test it out, see what it sounds like. So we've got our first test. We'll be with the Legator Ninja. N7FP FanFret Multiscale 7 string set up in drop A, nice and low down there. It does say Micro Terror on the head, so I assume it means it's supposed to be played for Brutal Metal. Let's give it a shot. Settings right now, tone straight up and down, gain about a 2, and volume pretty low as well. Turn it up. Pretty good, not bad. Very clean tone, not much gain on it now. We'll tap that gain all the way out. This is as much gain as it gets. Way too loud. such a small cab um, and there's no distortion pedal or anything like that this is just guitar into the head into the cab coming into the mic so not too bad though I kind of like that for being such a small package it actually sounds pretty good it has a lot of punch to it it's fiddled with uh, some more stuff so we'll put the gain back around three or so this is with the tone all the way to the left and it just looks like the cymbals are bass and treble clef. I don't know what they actually mean, I didn't look it up. That sounds awful, all the way to the left. I'm not sure what you would use that for. Maybe some kind of cool ambient stuff. Not good though. Alrighty. Knob all the way to the right. Really tinny. Really kind of way too bright for a head that has terror in the name. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Mm, still not very good. 
going to do right in the middle, slam it a little bass side. personally kind of dig. That's not bad. Would not use this for modern metalcore, gent, anything like that. Not nearly enough articulation. You need some pedals going through it, a gate, a drive, whatever. You need something. Go ahead and keep the gain the same, almost at max. And go kind of the exact same way the other side on the tone knob into the treble, it looks like. Those chugs are even worse. Oh, hideous. Still pretty good on the high end. I can't really tell a whole lot of a difference on the high end, but the, the bass part, the chugs definitely got worse. All right, let's see how it takes pedals. Got it on the pedal board. We'll start with uh, the grunge, since I just did a demo of that pedal. This is the grunge. We're going into low volume. Put about 50-50 on the tone knob and the gain very, very low on the head itself. So with the grunge knob, Switch it over to, we've got a Boss Metal Core on the board. better pedal too. Bet if you crank that up sound great. And we'll try it on the Digitech Death Metal as well. Why not? Much louder pedal. Turn that volume down on the head.
too bad on the death pedal. It's not great either. And I can hear a little bit of the radio coming through it now. Yep, probably can't pick it up on the mic, but maybe if I move the antenna around a little bit, it'll come through a little clearer. Definitely can hear a little bit of the radio though. It's kind of every compression pedal, every distortion pedal. Always gonna send some radio through from your pickups and your guitar. Death Metal's probably my favorite of the three distortions. Let's try a little blues tone. This is just a custom blues pedal that I have. side through any kind of combination that I have going on. But there you have it. Micro Terror 20 watt head with the matching cab. Very cool little package here. And the little feet fit perfectly over top the cab on the handle for the cab so it all stacks together nicely. Is it worth the price? Yeah, probably. You can get these fairly cheap. There's a lot of them out there. They're really popular. A lot of them on the used market. I got mine in a trade. I don't know if I'll keep on to it for too long. I have no idea. I might trade it away. We'll see. But honestly, they're not that expensive. 100 bucks, 150, you get an actual tube amp. Very, very small one, but an actual tube amp. You can get a cab. You can use this with other cabs as well. That's just the matching one that I got in the trade. No reason to keep that one if you don't like it. But honestly, for a cheap tube head matching cab or just a practice setup rig, it's pretty good. It's better than buying like a small little Yamaha practice combo amp or something like that. Definitely a better buy more value, a lot more versatility, and probably weighs less too, which is kind of nice. But there you have it. We'll see you next time.